And after discussing all of this freedom that comes from, from fulfilling these callings and being on the covenant path with the Lord, look at verse 19. For though I be free from all, and the men there is italicized, it's an addition by the King James translators, for though I be free from everyone, basically, yet have I made myself servant unto all that I might gain the more. That verse is a powerful reflection of the mission, the life, the ministry, and the infinite atonement of Jesus Christ. He was free from all. He was free from all sin, from all people, from all government power. He, ha he was independently powerful and knowledgeable, and yet he who was the most free became the most servant. Or, or the lowliest servant of all, condescended below everyone, became the servant of all of us. Why? That I might gain the more. What did he gain? It's not the notoriety. It's not the, the acclaim. It's the souls of the children of God, that he's able to gain them and bring them and present them spotless to God one day. What a powerful analogy for us to strive to become more like the Savior, using that verse as an example here. Though you're free from all, yet we make ourselves servant unto all. That is the essence of parenthood. That is the essence of service in the church and kingdom of God on the earth, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. No paid ministry as far as calling a bishop and offering a wage, no Relief Society ministering sister who gets paid a stipend to go and do her ministering visits. It's this, I'm free. I don't have to do that, but I'm going to make myself a servant and go and relieve suffering and teach and exhort and bind up wounds and strengthen and comfort and mourn with those that are mourning and stand as a witness of God. We make ourselves servants. And for those of you who are raising children with special needs, or those of you who have taken on uh, callings that are very difficult, and it's stretching you, and it's painful, and it's not fun. Being a servant isn't always just fun work. What an amazing principle to consider this Christ-like attribute that you're reflecting day in, day out, week in, week out, year in, year out, where you make yourself, you take other people's burdens upon your shoulders and you move forward. 10,000 years from now, I don't think any of you are going to look back and say, man, I wish my life would have been a lot easier. I wish it would have been filled with nothing but success, money, vacations, and perfect love everywhere I, I looked open doors everywhere I turned. I think we'll look back and be grateful for these opportunities that heaven gave us to serve, to sacrifice, to, to give up some of our own time, talent, money, energy, effort, desires for the benefit of these other people who couldn't always be of benefit in return to us because that's not why you become a servant to get something from people. You become a servant to serve them, to give things to them. That's the Christ-like element that is growing within us.